this 48, I'm in Naples, Italy's third largest city and the unofficial capital of its sound. This once glittering regional capital is now blighted by such endemic corruption that it recently spent a year buried under its own rubbish. But on this 48, we hear beautiful music coming from that junk. And as lemon farmers struggle, we meet the man who refuses to abandon his beloved fruit. And we investigate the ancient fertility dance that's been exciting Neapolitans for 2,000 years. Many of Naples' problems are attributed to the Camorra, a powerful local mafia with such an extensive network that most Italians say it's difficult, if not impossible, to beat. But some people here disagree. Ciao! Ciao, Nanna! <laughs> Welcome to Naples! Thank you! Now, where are we? We are right in the middle of the city. The street is called Spacca Napoli, which mm. means that it splits Naples into uh, two different parts. Like a good side and a bad side? No, it's just <laughs> right in the middle. And like all of Naples, it's firmly controlled by the Camorra. When you live here, you cannot avoid it. Right. You live together with it. You know that most of these shops pay Camorra for protection. Right. It all contributes to the Camorra's 12 billion euro turnover, with profits flowing through 7,000 members to around 80 controlling clans. Look at this. Son of a boss, because literally is a boss, Camorra boss, was injured yesterday. One there's people a lot of violence here as well, and it's getting worse, Tessie, here in Naples. It depends on uh, families. Yeah. If they fight to control the territory, then there are more people killed or injured. Despite a recent high-profile assassination, the area of Sanitar is now relatively peaceful under the Torino clan. And we'd come to see how teenagers are educated about organized crime. A serious career option in a city where unemployment is nearly double the national rate. Sanguetta si sposa Agnesina. Vediamo dopo che succede. Dopo. Lei ce la su. Oh, bebe. Written in the 1930s, the paper gangster is a story of a man who pretends to be a Camorra boss. He takes also um, his uh, girl, his wife. Wow. So this kind of thing really happens too, doesn't it? Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm a person who has been a person who has been a Does this change their opinion at all of Camorra? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me what this has taught them about what they want for their life. If you are involved in Camorra, then you can't get out of it. Essendo che tu sei guapo, hai più rispetto, invece no. Can't be respected by people by using your strength or violence. You must. You learned this in the play. So, yeah. Luckily, the fight against the Camorra isn't left entirely to the theatre community. <laughs> and someone had overstretched themselves. <laughs> Copy! <laughs> Naples Port is one of Italy's busiest and a magnet for organized crime. <laughs> Andrea had been hard at work arranging for us to visit the branch of the army responsible, the Guardia di Finanza. And they were clearly expecting us. We have almost 700 containers to monitor. 700 cargoes only today, unloaded. Pakistan, Bangladesh. From China, Bangladesh. Every year, 200,000 cargoes coming here. And they have had a reputation for letting in anything. Fake designer fashion, illegal cigarettes and hard drugs. 
We had a, a best-selling book written about it by the journalist Saviano, is that right? Oh, yeah. Gamora. I mean, sure. he claimed that, you know, that, that this place was basically controlled by the Gamora. Some of these books have been considered journalistic. That is not. Maybe that is the mistake. I mean, that is fiction. Fiction, he says, because they're checking 30% of all containers as part of a new crime-fighting plan. But he couldn't talk about that. So you've got three degrees, yeah? Even how clever he is was a matter of national security. We don't need to talk about that? No. No. We can't talk about the strategies here, but what we can tell people is why you're good at your job. Yeah? Io sono un buon giocatore di scacchi yes, e questo good chess player. mi aiuti molto nel lavoro this helps him perché this mi job. aiuta a pensare sempre alla mossa successiva. And it's his move next as he intercepts fake goods his opponents import people to make the fakes in local sweatshops. There's so much we can't talk about. But he couldn't tell us that. Okay, okay, we won't. Come, come, come. Another situation the officials say they have under control is waste management. There is no doubt that, that Naples stinks. Naples was suffocating under mountains of uncollected rubbish as the dumps were full. But the authorities just moved it to countryside dumps, as a local eco-activist showed us. And these were illegal dumps? This is not illegal. Legal. Garbage is Camorra gold. They run rubbish companies and offer extra cheap toxic waste disposal by dumping it here. Why is the sky grey? Because during the night, Camorra, all the night long, burns tons and tons of toxic waste. Like deadly asbestos. Do not use your mouth. Breathe with your nose. Okay, let's just talk about it, because I had a minor heart attack just then. Okay, <laughs> so what we just went past was, was asbestos? Quando brucia, okay. esce fuori la mia. That is dangerous when a fire is up, because it is in the air. Yeah. And look, there are farms here, peaches. So they're growing peaches yeah. next to this industrial waste. Planned new dumps led to protests as locals feared the Camorra would dump dangerous waste. But it was the Camorra who started these riots. <laughs> Tired of watching their people die of cancer, one band of brave activists is taking their anger out on the rubbish. So all of this you found at a dump. This is a good way to recycle, yeah. yeah. But most Italians don't recycle, do they? Noi abbiamo molta sfiducia perché non Italians maybe do recycle, but the companies that should recycle plastic and all that stuff maybe do not do that. I saw your neighbors watching you and mm -hmm. there's a sort of curiosity, but are you having any effect, do you think? Molte persone cominciano a youngsters who were like directly or indirectly involved in criminality started to play with them and so they uh, gave up with that line. What did you think? It's a beautiful thing. She likes that. She thought that was beautiful? Is the garbage crisis over as far as she's concerned? Do you think the crisis is No. They are risking their necks, openly criticising the Camorra. And that night, we headed into another mafia-controlled district, one of the city's most dangerous, to meet a 12-year-old who was armed with a microphone. Fortuna! Fortuna's a famous child singer. She sings in the neo-melodic style, a pretty cheesy genre that's most popular for family celebrations like this little lady's birthday. They sing in their local Neapolitan language rather than Italian, in a sort of nasal style. 
And in poor areas like Forcella, they're worshipped more than pop stars. often sing of love and other interesting habits. Some artists have been linked to the Camorra, seeing their political messages. But not for Tuna, she condemns the guns and drugs lifestyle of mobsters. The Tuna's not from this area, is she? And a lot of the children here are quite disadvantaged. The desiderini sono tanti nella vita. She brought about desires and the life and dreams of the babies. And it was time again for Fortuna to kiss all her babies goodbye. <laughs> she had another party to get to.